I already made a video unboxing this Blu-ray complete series and comparing it to the older Blu-ray. So check the description or my channel for a link. In this unboxing, I'm going to be focusing more on the DVD sets with the newest box set version here, the complete series on DVD. It's the cheapest set. It can be found on Amazon. My Amazon affiliate link in the description. And then I'll be comparing it to older original DVD season sets and comparing that with the Blu-ray versions. So this is the most recent release of the complete series on DVD. And it is the cheapest and most condensed version and most ugly packaging. So you just get these two giant plastic DVD holders and here's the front of both boxes and here's the back just talking about the show inside you just get this giant plastic CD holder basically these are all the same discs that you get in the older DVD sets so each one of these holders holds either one or two discs and it is not a fun set to be pulling discs constantly in and out of. The plastic here is pretty tight and I find it more difficult than it should. But season one only has one disc. Season two has four discs. Season three also has four discs. Season four has four discs. And then season five has five discs. Each one of these holds two discs each. So the entire season has discs one and two and then three and four here. And then on the reverse side of the label is the episode list and bonus feature from seasons one to five. And for seasons six to nine, it's the exact same packaging. So we actually have five discs for season six, two CDs, and then the one back here actually holds three CDs. So discs three, four, and five. And then here is season seven, five discs as well. There's two here, two here, and then one on the back for disc five. Season eight also has five discs, four on the front here, and then disc five on the back. And then the last season, season nine, also has five discs, two here, and then three at the bottom here. And once again, on the back of the sleeve is the episodes for seasons six to nine. It's not the prettiest packaging, but it is the most condensed and cheapest way to get The Office on DVD. So here you can see it's the original season one box that just contains one shiny The Office season one disc. And then season two has this nice sleeve that's on the outside nicer discs with nice artwork. By the way, it is possible to get season two with these clear shiny disc tops and the background's basically just crumpled paper to match the CD art. And that is on the other side of the cover. Season three has this nice sleeve as well. And inside you can see there is a CD art of graph paper and the background is just plain like cork board. And on the back just has a cork message board now with the old season four, you can actually get one of two different versions. You can see here one is thicker than the other because one comes with a script book that the other does not. This one comes with the same CDs, but as an extra little script booklet. I have Dinner Party, which is season four, episode 13. And it's literally just an entire script of that episode. You can probably read the original planned lines and compare it to the final product of what was changed and what was actually said in the episode. So here's the sleeve of season four and inside we get a very nice disc art with Dwight Schrute's hierarchy chart in the background and the artwork of someone's desk, probably Pam's reception desk. Now starting with season five, we have a direct Blu-ray comparison. So starting with season five, we have a very similar artwork. This one has a one-liner soundboard. So each Blu-ray season probably has one or two extra special features that the DVD does not. 
And so you'll see here on the DVD version, we have a case that holds five discs. But the Blu-ray version is smaller because it only requires four discs. The Blu-ray only has two panels of this awkward photo that the DVD has here, but the DVD also has an extra panel that contains more characters, disc five episode list on the side here. And on the rear, the Blu-ray has episode lists for discs one to four, but you get this nicer, larger layout for the season five DVD set here. This is the cover for season six, similar all around, but with extra exclusive Blu-ray features. And the Blu-ray comes with four discs, while the DVD actually comes with five discs and sometimes you can get this bonus six disc for season six. And this bonus disc just comes with two episodes which are producers extended cuts for the episode Saber and the episode Whistleblower. And I'm pretty sure it's kind of just the episodes with all the deleted scenes. Back to the five boring DVD discs here. So behind the discs here for season eight, we have a more condensed edited version of the awkward face scans back here. You can see Ryan has has his full image, Jim and Pam, Dwight and Michael. The images are larger and more fuller. And there's an extra little Michael Scott document here. And on the back, while well, we just get a simple episode list. The DVD has more room to give you a few more images. Season seven, again, with the extra Blu-ray exclusives. We have four nice Blu-ray discs and five pretty plain DVD discs. So behind the Blu-rays we get this nice collage and while the DVD gives you that same collage right here we get an extra busted thief images and on this side we get Andy's Sweeney Todd play and a few more screenshots from episodes and on the back of the DVD we get a full Threat Level Midnight poster and the episode listings while on the Blu-ray we only get the episode listings. On to season 8, you'll see that the Blu-ray version, for some odd reason, gives you both Blu-ray and DVD versions. So this Blu-ray actually comes with five really ugly labelless discs. The discs are double-sided, one side contains the Blu-ray and the other side is the DVD. While the DVD just follows the same trend of plain clear discs, because the season 8 Blu-ray contains five discs instead of four, we get the exact same five disc layout that the DVD set contains. And same with the back, we get the same as the DVD with the episode list and the Saber triangle tablet. So season eight is the only season where we don't have any difference Blu-ray versus DVD packaging. Season nine, front and back, again, very similar. The Blu-ray has four discs, DVD has five discs. The Blu-ray has three panels with all the images a bit more cluttered. Since the DVD has four panels, the images are spread around more. You can see this green customer comment card is fully shown. On the Blu-ray, it's covered up here. On the back, episode list. The DVD back, extra panels for screenshots. Here's a fun little bonus. This season nine is actually a counterfeit copy of the Office DVDs, and it's a damn good one. It is 99% accurate. I however noticed that 1%. It is so good that they even indented the Office name here so it sticks out just like all the other seasons. They put this little sticker here. They even put this counterfeit advertisement paper. I noticed that things that were blue, like the words best sitcoms here, is actually purple in the counterfeit. If you look really closely at the text, the counterfeit is a bit off. It is not as sharp. There's a little shade or shadow beside the letters. Meanwhile, the original is like pristine. The images and words in the background here are a bit unclear and you can tell is not as sharp as the other seasons. The push tab 
for the disc is a cheaper plastic. The moment you press it, you can just feel that the plastic is way thinner and it just feels way more flimsy and the disc has a way harder time coming out. The discs, by the way, are a really big giveaway. Instantly, the title, The Office Season 9 Disc 2, you can tell is a bit blurry. It's not that clear. The background image is really blurry. Since I have this set, I could pull out the original disc. The original disc has the words in blue. The counterfeit everything is more purple. It is super clear and sharp in the original. And the Dunder Mifflin image is gray like it's supposed to be and it doesn't have this blue purplish tint and it's a lot sharper and clearer. I put these discs into the computer to get some data. I have a theory the original discs are dual layer meaning they can hold twice as much data. They cheaped out with the counterfeits and didn't use dual layer discs. So since the discs can only hold half the amount of data they had to compress all of the episodes and shows to be half the size. The original DVD disc on average has episodes at 6,000 to 7,000 kilobits per second. The bit rate of the counterfeits are half that, about 3,500 kilobits per second. If I show you them side by side here, Candy's you can tell there's today. something off with the counterfeit version because it Candy's is compressed today. a lot more. Andy's coming back today. I'm actually surprised with the amount of work and effort they put into making these counterfeits this good. This for sure will trick 9 out of 10 people. If you have any suspicion or you feel like anything is off, double check, you probably might have a counterfeit copy. If you're used to just looking at a lot of TV season sets, then you'll just get used to the clarity of the print and the richness in the coloring. That when you do grab a counterfeit, you won't be able to say right away that it is, but you'll just be like, hmm, something feels off and fishy about this, let me take a closer look. And if you have that feeling, then there's a pretty high chance it's a counterfeit. That's my DVD unboxing of The Office, the complete series. If you like more information on the Blu-rays, check my other video in the description. If you like to buy any of these and you want to buy it from Amazon, please check out my affiliate link in the description to help me out. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video. You can ask me any questions if you plan on buying any of these sets. I love this show and I'm a really big collector. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. There's this cube on the screen. It bounces around all day, and sometimes it looks like it's heading right into the corner of the screen, and then at the last minute, it hits a wall and bounces away. It is going to be the happiest day of my life. Time to get to work. The best erotic bakers are foreigners. That is not Daryl. I don't know where Daryl is. I suspect probably our Daryl is inside of Fat Daryl. There's two new guys back there with me now. They're in their 20s. When this thing started, we really get along. Looking good. There's three single guys getting into trouble. No, Pete is not the new Jim. The only thing we have in common is that neither of us wants to sit on Meredith's face.